What's going on everybody? I'm Daryl Ponton. Thanks for joining me today. Today's project, I got a dryer I'm going to take apart. We're going to take a look on the inside. All right, here's what we got. This brand's a roper. There's a lot of them that are similar to this one. We're going to go to the back and I'll show you how to get in through the access panel. Now I'm tearing this dryer apart for scrap, but if you got an old dryer that's making noise, I'll show you what the problem is. First thing, we're going to take this back panel off. Now most of these are quarter inch screws on the back of these. Now you can recover a little bit of brass out of this. You see it right there. There's not a lot to these dryers, but I wanted to take it apart anyway. You're going to have some type of coil. It might be round, it might be like this. But what's going to happen is this wire here is going to have a break in it. This one seems to be all right, but for some reason they threw it out anyway. Can get down here and show you what's going on. Now here's what happened. This this is the tightener. This thing come completely off. This goes in here somewhere. This belt goes here, and I go around the drum. This piece here will go up against it like this. What happens a lot of times is the belt breaks, or this will wear out. The center will wear out and it'll start making noise. If it isn't that, then it's going to be these. With a drum ride, sometimes them get wore out. It's only a couple things that's going to stop your dryer from working. It's always sure to find a little bit of cash when you get in a dryer. That's one another reason I take them apart. You never know what's inside. It could be a ring in there, it could be money. And plus, it's easier if it's all torn apart to load it up in the truck. It only takes a few minutes. Now on this motor, where you get too anxious to take it apart for the copper wires, best thing to do is snip this to make sure that it's copper, which it's not. I don't know, I'll get in there closer so you can see what I'm talking about. You see that silver color, that means that's aluminum, that ain't copper. It wouldn't be silver if it was copper. For you. I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of the screws out of this, and finish breaking it down all the way.
All right, there's all the steel. That's made of probably about 80 pounds, maybe 90 pounds. The new dryers and washers don't weigh that much, not like the old ones. I went ahead and recovered all the aluminum out of the motor just for the video sake and just for you viewers so you know how much material you can recover out of a dryer. All right, that's what I recovered out of the motor. Like I said, these ain't copper, that's aluminum. I'll get in there close, you can see, see that silver looking color, that means it's aluminum. You got about two pounds of aluminum. Now you can see there, there's not very much brass. Recovered everything I could off the ends, the wires, and some copper. That little bit of copper winding is there, that's from the, the switch. You take that apart, there's a little circular thing in there that's got copper. Some of the ends are from the switches. And over here, you want to go through the measures of taking that all the way down. See a little piece on the end there, one's round and one's square. That's contact switches, they're inside them little boxes behind a control panel. Each piece there, you can see it there, one's round and one's square. That's a little piece of silver. If you want to go through the trouble of taking all of them apart and save them up, you have to smelter them down, but just for recycling purposes, know that there's silver also inside uh, washers and dryers. Now here's a little piece right there to come off, perfect. Get a little bit of insulated wire. This coil will come off from the electrical heating element. That's stainless. Here's the change we found in there. I found a dollar thirty-six. Is it worth recovering the precious metals in a dryer? As far as your time is concerned, no, it's really not. For video sakes and for the viewers, yes. I went ahead and tore everything apart just so you guys could see what's inside and what the value is. I don't mind tearing down stuff like this, mainly because it makes more room to put scrap in there and it's not so big and bulky. At that, I'm gonna wrap it up. Is it worth tearing apart a dryer? Uh, financially, no, it's not really your time invested. It's gonna be more. I done it more or less for the viewer's purpose. I could give anyone helpful hints on repairs. Like for instance, on this one, the tensioner come off. That was all that was wrong with this dryer. It fell off. They could have took it apart and put it back on and when it worked just fine. I didn't want to salvage it because it's electric and I don't want no electric dryer. It costs too much for electricity. With that, I'm gonna end the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.